Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna unbox the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. So the color I chose is porcelain, and this one has 128 gigs. And I decided to trade in my Pixel 7 Pro toward the Pixel 9 Pro XL, and Google's giving me $540 for it. Now, and this phone is pretty big. This has a 6.8 inch display. I actually ordered the just regular Pro, which is 6.3 inches, but the time to get it was just too long. So I ended up just getting the XL instead. And this one came pretty quick. And this comes in at a starting price of $1,099 for the 128 gigs. So let's go ahead and unbox it real quick. We've got two little tabs to pull here. It's kind of interesting. Oh, here we go. All right, so it's a little sleeve. I like the outline of the phone right there. That's pretty cool. And there is the phone in all of its glory. And then of course we just get a USB-C to USB-C cable. Ah, on the inside of the box, that's where all the documentation is. It's pretty cool. I like the way they did the box this year. Got a SIM eject tool and it looks like just the normal documentation. All right, let's go ahead and take the wrapping off here. Yeah, I must say this is an absolutely gorgeous design. So of course seeing in the store is a little bit different than seeing it in person, but I love this porcelain color. You can see that new camera bar. It says it's recycled metals. So you can see it looks gorgeous, polished, looks very premium front here. So on the side, we have nothing here. We have our power button and our volume rocker down here. On the bottom, we've got our SIM tray, USB-C and our speaker. And on the top, another microphone right there for recording. But wow, just absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's turn it on for the first time. Hopefully we have some battery. We do. All right, now we're at setup. So very similar to previous years, I love a little bounce and you can feel the vibration when it does that. So let's go ahead and go through here real quick and I'll set it up. All right, so almost through with setup, but one thing I just wanna note here, of course, is all the AI stuff. So AI has come to Samsung phones, now come to Google phones, and of course iPhone is now getting it as well, but you can see some of the things that you get with the uh, you know, Pixel 9, Pixel 9 Pro, and Pixel 9 Pro XL. So you're gonna get Gemini, uh, Circle to Search, which has been a feature on um, Samsung Galaxy phones, so the Galaxy S24 Ultra had that first. Uh, Add Me, uh, so you can make sure everyone's included in a group photo, definitely wanna try that. Uh, screenshots, so you can find information you need from screenshots, and then Studio, you imagine it Pixel, crea Pixel creates it, so that's pretty cool. Another thing it shows in here is car crash detection. Uh, it says Pixel can detect a severe car crash and call emergency services with your location and crash data. So that's pretty cool. We also have a Pixel, Pixel Satellite SOS. Coming to select countries, you'll be notified when this service is available to you. Uh, we also have crisis alerts and more in the personal safety app. All right, getting the phone ready. All right, and here we are on the home screen. So as you can see, we have this gorgeous display here. I love the wallpaper that they chose here. Um, so we've got a couple Google apps right there. It's balancing to let you know that you can go swipe up or you can swipe up to go to all your apps here so you can see it's not too filled with stuff which is really nice that's pretty much it out of the box we have android 14 with the july 5th 2024 security patch and as you can see it's doing a system update in the background already and if you get the 128 gig model like i have you can see 14 gigs are used for the system so 114 to 115 gigs left all right other thing i want to show you here is just how fast the fingerprint sensor is so we'll lock it here Very, very quick. All right, just want to show you some of the features here real quick. So one of those is circle to search. So for example, we can take a nice little photo of this plant here, and then all we have to do is hold down on the gesture bar and then circle around the plant, and it should search Google to see if it can find maybe this exact plant, or maybe it'll tell you what kind of plant it thinks it is. Another cool feature, of course, is Gemini, the AI assistant. So you can ask, of course, normal things like the weather, What's the weather like tomorrow? In Fort Belvoir, it'll be rainy with a high of 74 and a low of 64. Now, something else you can do that's pretty cool is you can create images with this. So, for example, create an image of a dog and a cat playing a game of chess at the park. Now, it can take a minute sometimes, but depends on your connection. Sure, here is an image of a dog and a cat playing a game of chess at the park. And honestly, the results are pretty realistic. Now, one thing I did notice is that if you ask to create images of people or certain people, it will tell you either it can't or you have to pay for the advanced version of Gemini, which sucks, but you can still have some fun with this. 
Now another cool feature is called Add Me, and of course this is a terrible example, but basically allows you to take a photo of other subjects, and then the photographer can then get in the picture where the other two or three or however many people are. So you'll get something probably better than this example, but it's a pretty cool feature. And just to give you a quick comparison between a few different phones, of course we got the 9 Pro XL, got the Pixel 7 Pro, so you can see it's got that glossy finish on the back, got the tapered edges on the front and back, and we got that more boxy design on the 9 Pro XL, and you can see it is a bit thicker, as well as the camera bar, and it does have a little bit of a narrow display on the Pixel 7 Pro versus the 9 Pro, and of course we got those rounded corners. Comparing to the Galaxy S24 Ultra, you can see it's a little bit longer, more boxy, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is, a little bit more, more rounded here, you got the rounded edges. Thickness is pretty similar, but it is a bit more rounded on the S24 Ultra. The camera bar is actually thicker than the camera lenses on the S24 Ultra, but the Galaxy S24 Ultra has better zoom than the, S, uh, than the Pixel. See the difference in the displays here. And a quick comparison between the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Pixel 9 Pro XL. Very similar in size, both have those rounded corners. You can see they both kind of have that same or similar matte finish. Uh, thickness is pretty similar. Camera bar is still thicker on the Pixel. Uh, the Pixel is actually lighter than the iPhone. But one thing I noticed that was kind of interesting is the uh, previous iPhones, Pro iPhones, had the stainless steel finish and it was shiny. Very similar to what they have on the Pixels now. But they're now using that titanium rather than stainless steel. So it's now a matte finish versus the shiny finish. But I think both of them look pretty good. You got 6.7 on the 15 Pro Max and 6.8 on the Pixel. So there you guys have it, just a quick unboxing and look at the Pixel 9 Pro XL. I think the phone is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful design. I think it's a great change from the previous years. So I'll definitely delve into this a little bit more, but if you have any questions or comments on this, feel free to leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.